All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Synco, and today we're going to be looking at Atlas build. Now, this one's mainly going to be based around your landslides and rumblers. The other two can come into effect because they do have all our stats in this one. But in my pre preference with playstyle, I don't do this. But without further ado, well put together, this one's going to be skill charge. So it's 60% to melee well damage. This is fantastic for your first ability, which is landslide. So I choose this. Your next one's going to be power drift. Now the reason why I use this is not because of your resistance to knockdown, because as far as I know, uh, when Atlas is has got his feet on the ground, you cannot be knocked down at all. Now I'm not entirely sure whether this is true. I've heard this on my research. I haven't actually been able to test it out. Uh, so. The reason why this is on is obviously because of the 15% power strength, which adds to your rumbles and your first ability, which is like that. Your next one is going to be Vitality. Uh, the reason why is because Atlas has some good um, armor abilities, so we're going to ignore your shields. Uh, you, so you're going to have your Vitality on. Mine is maxed. I was able to do that weeks ago as well, which is good. Next one's going to be Steel Fiber. Now I haven't managed to rank this up to max yet, but you are probably going to do this. Um, I would advise uh, um, ranking this up to max rank. Next one is Streamline, and that adds 30% power efficiency. Next one's Blind Bridge, which is 63% power strength and 35% power efficiency. I wouldn't advise going any higher with this with ranking systems. It is entirely up to you. But as you can see, my power efficiency at the moment is 95%, which is pretty low, so it is still sustainable, and I do use carrier, so it keeps me a little bit more fueled. But again, personal preference, switch it out for whatever you need, guys. The next one is Prime Flow. I haven't managed to rack this one out, um, unfortunately, so at the moment it's just 150% uh, power max. Intense Fire, which is 30% power strength, again with your Rumblers and your Landslide. Power strength again with 45% and minus 22% with power of duration. 55% power of duration with your Prime Continuity, which is great because I have managed to match that one up. Uh, just be aware guys that your duration does is used for your Rumblers on how long they can stay in the match. Mine lasts about 40 seconds. Now this, in my opinion, is a long time, and the amount of damage they do is definitely worth the mods that I've got on. They are able to take out enemies, and they are a great distraction if you want to stay out of the fire. Not that you will do, but I am more of a ranged character with my builds, so it is definitely something to think about. No, I have heard that there is another mod coming out for Atlas. Um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but it is on PC, so I'm assuming it is definitely going to come to the Xbox, which is what I'm playing currently. Um, I would definitely take out maybe, yeah, I'd probably take out Intensify and put on the new mod because the new mod gives you one rumbler but is like double the size and taunts, which means that all the enemies in that proximity will go and attack him over you or anything else, as far as I'm aware. So I'm assuming you can use this for a defense, uh, which will be great. Operator, were you visualizing a bloody but That will be my build. Me uh, too. Take, one, take from it what you will. Uh, again, the comment sections in the box below, guys, on how my build is. And hopefully, you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. It helps me out a lot, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.